Lad is so cool. He's so psychotic, but he's so cool. Hello, and welcome to episode 11 of Bacchano, my reaction. Um, <laughs> as always, I am super hyped to watch more of this show. <laughs> I'm ready to see some more. Um, quickly to go on... Just to kind of go over the last episode. Um, we really... So we finally got to learn a little bit more about... Uh, what is it? Shane? Shane? How do I pronounce it? I, I, I don't even know how to pronounce it. I'm going to have to hear her name some more times. But uh, Huey's daughter. So we learn a little bit more about her. She seems to know some of his knowledge about it. Um, I don't believe he was ever given access to the, the full cure. So... She probably just knows the story of what's, you know, what's going on. Um, they seem to have some, like, weird connection, though, to where he could literally speak to her, like, across the country or who, however far away they are from each other. So, there's some interesting powers there. I remember that guy, I believe he talked with the demon towards the end when he was on the ship. So, maybe him and that demon have some stuff going on there. Maybe he's a little bit different than uh, the other characters in the show, but it'll be interesting to see. Um, but yeah, so last we saw of Shane, Sh Shane, whatever. I'll, I'll get it. I promise I'll get it. <laughs> but uh, uh, we saw her and Lad fighting on top of the train and taking each other on. So that's pretty cool. I want to see how that goes. Um... Learned a little bit more about the kid and what he's after. Um, he seems to be out. So his name... He accidentally revealed his true name, meaning that there was an immortal on the train with him. And that's what he's so paranoid about. That he, he thinks they're after him. When odds are, considering the circumstances of uh, Isaac and Miria, it was probably them. <laughs> So they brought, yeah, which they're not a threat to him, but yeah, he doesn't know that. But I'm assuming it was Isaac and Miria because we saw that uh, somehow they got the cure. Well, they, they stole it, but we don't know if they drank it. So it's still not 100% sure if that's how they got it or not, but we'll, we'll see. Um, I hope they got the full-blown thing because these people need to live forever <laughs> i want to see them generation after generation just stealing shit you know <laughs> but anyway let's go ahead and start this episode and see where it takes us <laughs> so they're all partying so i'm assuming this is after they realize she's not they're not dead or, or isaac's not dead <laughs> And what's interesting is he's still sitting on, like, the knowledge of the pure, true cure. Like, he knows. He's probably the one that's in most danger out of all of the immortals. We haven't seen Fero in a long time. <laughs> and I forgot about that whole button thing. So is this going to end up being a romance between those two? <laughs> but fero has been gone a long time, it feels like. So they're trying to turn on her, too. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> I'm in love. I'm in love. Marry me. <laughs> so this cult's kind of turning on each other. I mean, it seems like Huey didn't really trust them anyway, and neither did she. So I'm interested to see where, why they're turning on each other so much. Vino's so spooky. <laughs> He's so scared. 
scary. <laughs> he just sits with his arm around him. <laughs> oh, so they got captured. Oh, yeah, I remember. They got captured. And her, she's still hanging out there. <laughs> <laughs> she keeps catching the real tracer doing this. <laughs> oh, Lad is so cool. He's so psychotic, but he's so cool. When the show started, I hated him. I love him now. Bro. Romance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, but he even knows they're immortal. How do you plan on killing him? Damn. <laughs> this fight's cool as hell. They're both rad. Oh, God, Mino. Oh, we got three psychos on the train, on top of the train fighting now. <laughs> oh, no. Please, Miza, don't die. Please. So he ended up getting 13. So he's just hunting them all down. Yeah, man, I don't like that old guy. <laughs> He's scary. <laughs> He's scary as hell. Caught it, yeah. Because he's like an acrobat, I believe, right? <laughs> it's not fair, my boy Lad. I want my boy Lad to live. Well, we do know he lives. We know he lives. It's like the ultimate battle of, like, wills. <laughs> Completely different ideologies. <laughs> so she knew what was going to happen. So they know Firo really well. I seem to respect him. <laughs> There's a lot of immortals in this room right now. Which is kind of scary because the old man, that's really his strength, is killing immortals. <coughs> I hope Miza survives this. She's trying hard to help him. Jeez! 
She's trying hard to help him right now. Yeah, I figured he's using those old, the old uh, man. Huh, I wonder if then Huey's daughter is the same thing. <laughs> it's not there. <laughs> Bro, these two are hitting it off quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he should be fine. Yeah, he's gonna watch him regenerate and he's just gonna keep torturing him. How brutal. <laughs> oh, so you've been tortured a lot. Bro. Wow. So that dude is that psychotic. I wonder if that guy's still alive. He was. Well, yeah, he has to be. Because he thought you're the immortal. <laughs> he just bites off his fingers, bro. Bro! Oh man, he's so edgy. I thought Lad was edgy, bro. <laughs> Heck yeah! Jacuzzi! He's gonna save the day. Jacuzzi's gonna save the day. He's so cool. Him and his group are so cool. So the Runaradas, Gondors, and Eve. about they're having this negotiation over her brother right in front of her. <laughs> hey, so there was episode 11 of Bakano. Um, this was another fun, very action-packed episode. <laughs> this episode was pretty brutal, very action-packed. Um, yeah, so we got Miza, and I still, I can't pronounce that old guy's name, so I'm just gonna call him old guy. <laughs> he doesn't deserve to be called by his name <laughs> honestly so we have Mize and him kind of going up against each other we had more of chain and uh lad russo going up against each other with then the rail tracer coming in and interfering so now it's like okay <laughs> um it, obviously he seemed to have liked her more and took her side um heck we got the rail tracer torturing the kid <laughs> quite brutally uh, <laughs> apparently more than even the kid had already endured from his master or whatever he was uh, from his time on the on the ship but um we got that we got a romance brewing between uh, uh, the homunculus girl and Firo so we got that brewing fast they come across dallas 
Um, let's see. I know there was more action in this. So we got... Okay, yeah, so we got the uh, Runaratus meeting with the Gondors to negotiate over uh, what to do with Dallas right in front of Eve. <laughs> with the, it seems like the Gondors are a little bit more um, accommodating to her <laughs> uh, and whatnot. But really, I'm interested uh, spe uh, specifically with the Miza, the old guy conflict, because literally you've got how many immortals there in that room at that time? You've got all three of the Gondors, you've, which who who are immortal. We've got Isaac and Miria who are immortal. You got Miza who's immortal. You got Firo who's immortal. <laughs> so there's a lot of people there that you know might get eight, and I'm really worried about that because I feel like that old guy is going to eat somebody I really like, and I'm I'll be upset if that happens. Um. I hope the kid is able to get pull through and get past uh, the rail tracer. I don't know if he will. <laughs> I hope so because I feel like there's more to that character uh, than the sledding on. Right now he's just in like survival mode right now. <laughs> he's just... <laughs> so yeah, so we got all that. I'm trying to think if there's something else I'm forgetting. I think that about covered it this episode, but... Yeah, so this was a very action-packed episode. I enjoyed it. We're learning a lot more about some of these characters. Their interactions. We're getting... I, I want to see how this ends up. I hope Miza doesn't die. I'm worried that he's going to die. But we'll see. Other than that, thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, I really appreciate your comments um, and likes and whatnot. So if you guys would please like, subscribe, comment. I definitely appreciate that. I always look forward to seeing them. But... Other than that, we'll uh, talk to you again later and see ya.